plants can be good for the planet. They're nice to look at and they can also be pretty tasty. But what if they were also high-tech sensors that we could harness to detect harmful chemicals and even explosives in groundwater or the air around them? Michael Strano and his group from MIT in America have produced just such a bionic plant by engineering spinach to produce more or less infrared light in the presence of certain chemicals. Connie Orbach heard how. So in this paper, we've transformed a living plant into a chemical sensor that can detect chemicals in the groundwater or on the surface of the leaf and send that information as an infrared signal to your cell phone. How does this work? How have you managed to turn a plant, a living thing, into something that sounds like more what I'd have on the wall of my home? When a molecule you want to detect is is in groundwater, say, the plants are constantly bringing up this water through the roots and uh, through the stem and then into the leaves. If there are explosive molecules, this will trigger the two nanoparticles, which will send an infrared signal to your cell phone. In this way, we can detect chemicals that are in gra- groundwater or if, if the chemicals attach to the surface of the leaf. These changes you're making to the plants, are they going to be passed on to the plant's progeny? They are permanent for the lifetime of the plant. They are not passed on to the plant's progeny, so they die with the plant. What more could be done with this in the future? What other sorts of sensors could you see this being used for? In the future, we're interested in we're interested in multiplexing this. This means having the same plant detect uh, a wide variety of chemicals and send all that information to your cell phone. Uh, we're also interested in turning the sensors inward so that we can study the plant itself. Plants themselves uh, have a lot of information. They chemically signal within themselves when a uh, pest is attacking them or if they're exposed to bacteria. Plants are very good predictors of their environment. So uh, one of the things we're very interested in now is bringing the information that the plant has to humans via an electronic interface. So is this technology being used outside of the lab yet? It's not being used outside of the lab. However, we've started to explore some field test demonstrations. But the larger vision is to think about, can we replace devices and electronic uh, sensors that we have around our home, carbon monoxide sensors, things that we make out of plastic, can we find living plants that could do the same function? Generally, we call this plant nanobionics, the the use of nanomaterials to give the plant new functions. Now, that really is a superfood, isn't it? That was MIT's Michael Strano, and his work was published in Nature Materials.